Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel Doggy Scrapping. I'm here to do a layout for you guys today for a couple of different hops actually, or a couple of different things. First off, it's stamp it like it's hot. This week we're doing reverse stamping and I need to find the stuff that I just used so that I can show you. Oh, I must have had the thing. I'll show you that in a moment. I've actually reverse stamped my um, embellishments. I'm also doing it in conjunction with Scrap Timber Day 7, and that's to be no people on your layout. That's easy for me because I've got photos of flowers and everything, but in actual fact, this time round, the photo was taken by my daughter. I bought her a camera for her birthday one year, and she went around the garden and did close-ups of everything. So she did a close-up of uh, Inside a Daffodil, and um, it came out beautifully. Uh, and the first lot of uh, prints that she got were free and they did 5x7s instead of 4x6s. I'm also doing it in conjunction with Ginger's Corner, Blooms Around the World. We're doing Ukraine. I didn't write that down, Ukraine. And the specifics are you need to do a yellow and brown layout and you need to include sunflowers. Well, I don't have any sunflowers, so what I did was I used a Vicky Boot and Stamp sunflower. <clears throat> In fact, I'll show you with this one how we do it. Where's another piece of white cardstock? I need another full piece of. Where's the cardstock gone that I cut off? There. So. Let's just move the layout out of the way for a minute so I can show you reverse stamping. And we need this one and this one. So, stop falling down. Thank you. Uh, this reverse stamping is get your rubber stamps out. So, in this case, it is this one and this one to make a sunflower and normally we put it on our mounts like that like we're going to stamp it put it over so that we do the back of them first now that one won't actually stay on there but I'll use it as my okay so I went with the yellow ink for some unknown reason this bit won't stay on the block and then I went like this and I pressed it down and I'll grab my wipe so that I can wipe that off. So that's what it, hopefully you can see, that's what it makes. Now let's do the back of the middle bit. <clears throat> and I went like that, right? Turn them back over to their proper sides. And with the brown to make a sunflower, I went like this, and I kind of did the best I could to get it to match up evenly. And then I went in with the middle bit, like so, and then I fussy cut them out, and that's reverse stamping. them a wipe off and then I can pop them back on and so I made my own sunflowers because for starters I don't have sunflowers here in Tasmania it takes quite a while for them to grow <clears throat> so you need to plant them pretty sure it is the end but you need to plant them in winter so that they start growing or towards the end of winter and then the sunflowers will actually grow all through spring and at the end of spring to the start of summer the sunflowers will flower. My sister grew them one year and it took forever. She thought it was going to be like, you know, stick some daffodils in the ground, you know, in winter and by spring they're popping up and flowering. I mean, it kind of didn't work out like that. So, I made my own embellishments because I really don't have anything for, 
I don't have embellishments as such for specific flowers. So, whole piece of brown, and that's our brown, and then I inked around all the other bits with yellow. And all this here is scraps in my yellow bag of scraps. It is all scraps. I cut that in half, I cut that in half. That was already that size. That was already that size. This, I just matted my photo with what was left on it. So, with saying that, let's just go to the side. Let's square like that so that we can get this one down. This was actually baby paper. Little baby giraffes on the back. And I thought, hey, I don't know when I'm going to use it. Let's just not hoard it and use the yellow. I'm just eyeballing. There's no it needs to be completely even here in my scrapbooking world. And I'm actually going to write journaling on this one, uh, probably wherever I can fit it in. Um, that it was actually Danina's photo that she took. So let's go about here. My daughter is in the background because. A student free day for them today, so I just need to sit that on there so I know where it's <laughs> laughing away because I'm using one of her actual photos. <laughs> okay, hi, can I help you at all? Just watching, yes. The teachers need a, um, a learning day to themselves. They need to learn to be teachers. Something like that. That's what I'm saying anyway. Well, some of them do, that's for sure. Oh, done. Okay. And if there's any noise in the background, it's a chipper over the road. There's a big tree that fell down at the weekend. And the gentleman's just getting it cleaned up. So, there's... There was chainsaws going, there was a little digger there to move everything and there's about three chippers over there trying to chip it all up. <clears throat> so it's been quite a noisy morning here. Right. So what I will do is just roughly... I think that's about right. Yep. It's roughly right. Go down. So I really didn't, I had a little bit of a fiddle with the reverse stamping the other day. I was doing a heart. But I know that what I noticed with it was you can't have anything that is too too different in the way of what do I need? How do I get the word out? Where is the stamp I had? Okay, so I tried reverse stamping with this heart. When I reverse stamped it, as you can see, I've been quite in, in the ink today. I reverse stamped it, but then when you turn it over, because there's the, the um, tall point there, the tall point comes over here and not over here. So I couldn't use that because I was going to use hearts. Wild thing worked really well. That's that sign or that title. All right, let's get our... I found a yellow sticker of a butterfly and I found yellow um, tile letters so that worked out well and then just inking around everything in brown I think makes it stand out just that bit more Foam. 
one of our sunflowers down. I decided I'd just go two lots of embellishment clusters because some flowers, when you plant them, they're close together and they look beautiful when they come up close together. And I know uh, Shannon from Creative Chaos loves sunflowers. She's had some beautiful photos taken in a sunflower field but it's not it's not really something you see a lot of well down here in Tasmania anyway it's very rare people might have the odd few in their garden I'm going to stick mushrooms coming out only because they thought they looked good you know, as you, as you do, that's going to come off. So let's just go that one there. Let's go that from that. Place this one strategically because I stuffed up a little and dropped the ink pad and got a brown stripe on it. So let's place that strategically. So it gets hidden. It's not a big word for me today. Strategically. It's a very big word for me today. Especially when I'm really tired and I was kind of glad it was a student free day. <laughs> so I didn't have to drive in. I can't believe that. I shouldn't say something like that. Dreadful. But it saves me driving in. It's, it gets very tiring. Driving half an hour in, half an hour back, half an hour in, half an hour back. Morning and afternoon. Alright. I'm going to stick our little mushies in. Uh, so, towards... Sometimes in springtime, I will have mushrooms coming up in the... Springtime, spring, yeah, springtime and the end of summer. I'll have some mushrooms come up in the lawn and driveway at the front. Right, so now where am I going to pop springtime? Am I going to go spring, springtime? Or am I going to go springtime? Let me see. I actually think I might go springtime up there. I don't like this. I may need a tool. Just so I can get these on here. You know, feel, sorry if my head's in the way. Fairly close together. may not be completely straight. I thought let's go on the light yellow and brown. Make the title stand out. Now there's chainsaws going again. Time. Oh, butterfly, please don't break. I know you're very, very. Let's just pop another bit of tape across there. Right. I may pop a camera there. In fact, I may leave those two. Well, no, we might go the mushroom there. We'll go the camera in there. So I found a yellow camera. This is actually a scrap of sketch printable. I think I cut it out for my daughter to use. And we'll go... We might just go down here. Two little mushrooms on their own. 
Oh, I think I may have some brown. Maybe. Let's have a look. We've got cream. Creamy. Oh, that's creamy yellow. Got any brown? Got that funny brown colour. Go with this funny brown colour. And we'll just go one. ones. Look at that. We're done. I was a bit worried this wasn't going to work but I actually quite like how it's coming out. And that's those rhinestones gone. Okay, make sure this is in shot for you because the camera's in a different spot. And there we go. Okay, so if you think you might like to have a go at something like this, please by all means press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. At the same time, if you do like what I've come up with, give me a thumbs up. That would be really appreciated. Thank you so very much. Please have a go. Get your rubber stamps out and have a go at this reverse stamping. I was nearly going to skip this month and think, I really don't know how I'm going to do that. But I've had a play. As you can see, I really stuffed that bit up. Wild thing, the light pink with the black over the top looked really good. I had to play on another piece too. I don't know where that is. I, was, I did a green one. I, did. I don't know where I've popped that now, everyone. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I've had I had to play with it. And I thought, well, I was going to do a background with it. But then I thought, I've got no embellishments. I need a sunflower embellishment. So I decided to make my own sunflowers. And that's what I've come up with. And I actually quite like how these have turned out. Since... Doing Ginger's Corner with the mini swaps each week and learning to use your stamps to make embellishments and then just fussy cutting them out. I think it's come up quite good actually. Let me know what you think. I could be being biased, I don't, I don't know. But then I did one the other day that you guys liked and I hated. But anyway, I don't know if it was just me on that day. I don't know if I just shouldn't have not scrapped that day, but it just didn't look right to me. But people have liked it, so that's the main thing. And it's got to be my daughter that looks at it in the future. So, <laughs> so there you go. So what I will do is down below in the description box, I'll pop the playlist and all the details down for Stamp It Like It's Hot this month. As well as the playlist for Scrap Timber and the Facebook group for Scrap Timber and the Ginger's Corner Facebook group. Come over and have a look at the game that we're playing there and see see what you guys can come up with. So thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate you all for being here. When you go and check everybody out, show them some love. Subscribe to them if you're not already. And give them a comment, something you might like about their layout. And by all means, have a go at this reverse stamping and see what you guys come up with. And come and show us. Um, I'm pretty sure that if you show us in any of the Facebook groups or even just messages, um, we'd all love to see what you've come up, you all come up with. English, proper English, Mel. Um, it would be interesting to see what other people do with their reverse stamping. So check everyone out, show them some love and always remember it doesn't cost to subscribe, like or comment to anyone on YouTube. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for all your support and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Happy scrapping and stay safe. Bye for now.